Hello, and welcome to another episode of Next Drift. The weather's getting warmer, fluke season is just around the corner, and uh, we started working on getting the big boat ready, the 35-foot sea fever, and uh, tuna season, fluke season, all that good stuff. What I thought we'd go over today is a uh, kind of a cool gig. It's called a Montauk rig. Uh, it's something that uh, I kind of uh, came up with last year uh, towards the end of the season, and it's an improvised high-low rig. And uh, we'll get into it. So here's what you're going to need for the Montauk rig. And again, this is a uh, it's an improvised high-low rig. It's something I came up with last year and uh, worked out well. Uh, we started using it at the end of the season. Um, so what you're going to need here are a uh, couple squid skirts, any color you like, uh, two Gamagatsu bait holder hooks, um, a cannonball sinker, a swivel, and a large... Uh, sewing needle um, and some fluorocarbon and uh, this is what we're going to do so uh, we're going to take a step by step through this process and we'll make the rig so the first thing you're going to need to do is get yourself some uh, good fluorocarbon uh, this happens to be 30 pound test usually uh, I use uh, 20 but 30 shows up a little bit better um, you can use 30 uh, there's certainly no problem with it um, I just think the the whole rig, uh, when you use a thinner, thinner diameter line, the the uh, the whole rig seems to have more action uh, on the lures. Um, so first thing you want to do is tie that uh, dropper loop down at the bottom for your weight. Uh, it's two simple overhand knots, and then about ten inches from where the weight is, you're going to tie your first dropper loop uh, for your first rig, and um, about another uh, ten to twelve inches up from that. Um, you're going to tie your next dropper loop, and you can find uh, plenty of videos online uh, how to tie a dropper loop. You can also use a T-knot. A T-knot works real well for this also, but um, with the squid um, skirts, you know, you they hold up um, pretty, pretty straight. So the T-knot is not necessary, um, particularly in this, in this rig. Um, but what is really nice about it is it will last a long time, and it actually makes your gulp last longer, and it gives it more buoyancy. There's more bulk, um, and we'll get into that uh, a little bit further on in the video. So, But tie your dropper loop down at the bottom for your weight, and then your two dropper loops for your rigs. Uh, to get your squid skirts on, now to rig the squid skirts, we're going to use this big sewing needle here. Uh, I got this over at uh, the craft store. You'll probably get them at Walmart, wherever else. Um, but you're going to take the first dropper loop, put it through the eye of the needle, and then try to get this as center as possible and go through the nose of the squid skirt and come out the back and uh, pull that uh, squid skirt all the way up past the knot so you can get the needle off the line like this. And now you have your loop uh, ready for your first hook. And uh, I love the Gamagatsu or Hayabusa bait holder hooks. They're both really great. Um... This uh, is a three-odd hook. You can use a four. You can even go up to a five if you want. But I think the three and the four-odd hooks are, um, are you know, really good. Um, they're just fine. So loop, uh, put your dropper loop over the hook. I like to wrap it around twice. It holds it a little bit better. Um, and then once you pull the uh, squid skirt down, you can uh, kind of align it, get it uh, in, get the hook coming out the right place. Um, you know, if you want, want to make sure your eyes on the squid skirt are facing the right direction, you can just uh, roll it around, pull the hook through the skirt, and uh, that one's rigged. And uh, then you go up to your next, uh, your next loop, grab your needle again like this, and um, we'll put the loop through the, uh, the needle and uh, loop it over. And we'll get the line onto the needle itself, just like that. And we'll take the squid skirt here and hit dead center again. Push the needle through, pull it out, and uh, get the uh, loop back out. Take the needle off. And uh, now we can put our hook on. Same thing. We'll go through the, uh, the back of the hook first. Pull it over. Give it one little twist. Just like that. That holds it on better. Holds it straighter. And uh, pull the pull the hook back into the squid skirt. We'll get it straightened up. 
like this. And it's good to go. That's that's really it. You know, so you're giving yourself uh it's a it's a variation of a high low rig. We'll stick our weight down here at the bottom and I really like these cannonball sinkers. Um they're better than a bank sinker. I I think you feel more with them. Uh they seem to get hung up a lot less. And um also the drag you can use a little bit lighter cannonball sinker in heavier current than you can, say, a, a bank sinker or um, triangular sinker. Um, so let's, uh, I'll show you here how it looks with a gulp. So this is an orange um, salmon red gulp. We'll put on this one. I think it matches nicely. And you don't have to match it. You can you can change up, but I thought this looked, looked good for the camera, and I kind of like it. And as you'll see, when you pull this together, the gulp, uh, God, it causes a mess, doesn't it? But the gulp uh, kind of goes up into the inside of the squid skirt. So a lot of times the gulp will last longer. You know, if you get a sea bass or something like that, they'll always bite your tails off. Nothing you can do about that. But um, the gulp itself um, will be protected up at the top. And um, we'll put another one on here on our top rig. And I always like to do tails up, just my preference. And uh, try to aim for that seam in the worm. Um, but uh, see here, we'll get this one all straightened up. And uh, tucked up into the skirt. And that's it. That's the Montauk rig. That's what we call the Montauk rig anyway. And um, variation of a high-low. And one of the good things about this rig is it adds some more bulk. So rather than just having those a small teaser or, or a, you know, a jig... Uh, as a teaser where you would thread the gulp on. Now you've got some room and you've got more bulk. And uh, I think this just is maybe a little bit more appealing to a bigger fish. You know, you can see the whole rig here. Um, you know, it's got a bigger profile. Um, so you're still using a six inch gulp grub, but now you've got more meat. And uh, those squid skirts are tough and you can, they make them in so many different colors and everything else. So this is a good alternative to a bucktail and a high low. Um, I think this, uh, you know, just gives you a little bit different look. So, uh, and as you can al also can see, there's plenty of hook gap. That's a three-aught gamakatsu bait holder hook. And there's plenty of, of um, hook gap in there to make sure you get a good hook set. So, it's, it's a really cool rig. And uh, we'll do more videos out in the water this year with it. But uh, I like to uh, pre-tie my rigs. And so we'll have a whole bunch of them just like this ready to rock and roll. That's going to do it for this episode. Give it a shot. It's uh, it's pretty cool. If you like this content, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't be afraid to share some of our videos. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks again for watching.